about TikTok. Lots of teenage girls uh, are on TikTok and, and guys and boys and, and college kids. Uh, what do you tell members looking to use it? Well, first of all, I want to thank you, Laura, for bringing attention to this issue. Uh, this is not just an insignificant, innocent app where people share funny videos of lip syncing, you know, their favorite artists. This is something that is direct from what, what many intelligence officials are telling us from the Chinese Communist Party. This has been downloaded over 165 million times. Let me repeat that, 165 million times by Americans. This is probably used more so than any other app uh, young people were for teenagers and young people in this country. This is an infiltration into the smartphones of America's youth. And Mike Pompeo said it best. He said, I wouldn't use TikTok unless I want to hand over all my personal information to the Chinese Communist Party. So the parents watching this right now, if your teenager has TikTok on their phone, they may, they may very well just hand it over personal information, not just their information, but your family's information, where you're going to vacation, what you're buying, what you're talking about. TikTok, in a lot of different ways, is a brilliant Chinese global strategy. How can we get the Westerners to use our technology so we can learn about them to eventually be able to impose their values? That's the second part, Laura. Behind, behind, besides the data harvesting side of it, they're also banning pro-Trump content. They banned live action and Lila Rose's content to try to almost push a social justice left-wing agenda. Um, I want to read this to you. This is from Forbes just a few days ago, Charlie. Um, if TikTok is active on your phone while you work, the app can basically read anything and everything you copy on another device. Passwords, work documents, sensitive emails, financial information, anything. That's when Apple suddenly caught TikTok secretly spying on millions of iPhone users. Uh, the American CEO uh, of TikTok here in the U.S. said, that's not happening. I wouldn't allow it to happen. Um, and tried to reassure people when this was brought up today. Very, very quickly, Laura, does anyone trust the Chinese Communist Party, their affiliates after this, CTE, Huawei, or any of the companies that have been involved in the last couple months and we've seen what happened because of the virus? Americans need to wake up. Parents need to tell their teenagers to delete this app, and the federal government should do a total and complete ban of TikTok in our country, just like the Indian government did. It's time to put our country first and no longer be deceived by the Chinese Communist Party. I have another question. Who has time to do all these videos? I'm like, these are elaborate videos. I don't have any time. I have barely well, have time to Laura, have, they have, have time because they're not in school. They yeah, have that's time true. Because they're not in school, so it connects yeah, all that, together. Yeah. Very if that were, If that were the only problem, not being in school, I think people have a lot of time on their hands, even uh, with with school being in session. Charlie, great to see you tonight. And up yeah. ahead.